Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf for Programming. <clears throat> so I've got a new case today that works with a NVMe drive that I'm going to test out with the Raspberry Pi 5. So I'm going to take my Raspberry Pi 5 out of this and I'm going to apply it to the Argon Neo 5 NVMe drive. NVMe case, sorry. For the NVMe drive, I have chosen to buy this Samsung 980 Pro, which is faster than the Raspberry Pi can handle, but it was on the approved list. So Argon actually gives a approved list of SSDs that will work. And I'll put a screenshot of that up here on the screen. So any one of these should work. It comes with a manual with instructions, much better than the last thing I bought. I forget what it's called. Um, and I am flashing it right now. Raspberry Pi 5 imager. I also ordered one of these USB-C to NVMe things so I could go ahead and flash it on my computer without having to boot up an SD card first. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and let you know how it works. You see here is where the ribbon cable actually connects and the instructions clearly tell you how to connect it. Here's where you screw in some screws, starting up, and it looks like it's working. We have one terabyte of NVMe space. So let's go ahead and take a quick comparison of this case with the old Argon case for the Raspberry Pi 4, the FLRIC case, and one of your cheapo plastic Raspberry Pi 4 cases. You see it's a little bigger than all the other ones, but it feels very sturdy. It does have pros and cons to it though. For one, this NVMe drive completely blocks the SD card slot. So you can put an SD card inside, but you're going to have to disconnect pretty much everything in order to swap out the SD card. I just left my 32 gig SD card in there and now I'm basically just not using it. Um, it's heavy and it's expensive. This thing is now probably more expensive than like an Intel N100 little PC, but it's got a cool factor to it and I'm gonna use it for my WireGuard VPN server. So um, comment down below if you want me to make a video about setting up your own WireGuard VPN so that you can always be on your home number when you need to or spoof your location. Um, but yeah, overall, it's uh, I'm pretty satisfied with it. And as you can see here from the speed results, it is looking very good, very fast. I even have it in PCI3 mode, which it just somehow works, even though it's only rated for PCI2. Um, you can read Jeff Gearling's blog on the commands to do that, but yeah, it runs at PCI3 speeds, and you can see here from the comparison that I did get a big speed boost by going from PCI2 to PCI3, so. Yeah, that's it. Don't buy the other hat. That one doesn't work, or at least it didn't for me. Um, this one comes with a fan, comes with a heat sink, and you can use a full-size NVMe drive. You lose the SD card, so if you absolutely, absolutely want easy access to the SD card slot, this one's a no-go. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. And that's all I got. Have a good day.